Wow. I was very shocked and surprised to hear about this. Chance the Rapper comes out and saying that the beef between Nicki and and uh, uh, Cardi B and all that stuff was was orchestrated? Wow. Unbelievable. Now, for those who've been under a, a serious rock or was heavily medicated under heavy sedation, listen, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj about, I say, two years ago, a year and a half ago, were engaged in a tug of war battle. I mean, literally battling each other going back and forth, trying to see and determine who was the better of the two. And when I mean the better of the two, I mean the better of the two, as far as who was the best, who was this, who was that, and who didn't belong, and the hate, and they were on the same record, and it's the beef over that. It was so terrible, it led to a big melee at the Met Gala, then it led to a whole bunch of different arguments taking place through social media. So even now, they still take shots. So to say I understand what Chance is saying, because I do, but do I 100% agree with the statement? No, because I, I really feel that they don't like each other based on one person's jealousy of another. But isn't that how all beef start? Hmm? Now, this shocking revelation that came to us by Chance the Rapper saying that it was carefully curated and that's what I'm like, well, who set this up when he said executives in the music business did this to generate a buzz? That's one hell of a buzz. That's like a buzz saw. Chopping somebody in half. Now, he was on the Big Boy interview and talking about how this then lifted the lid off the the whole, you know, beef stuff and and the rap industry and all this. But it was like Car Cardi B was carefully pitted against uh, Nicki Minaj to boost her aggressive and confrontational image. And when Bodak Yellow was hitting the chop, top of the charts and everything else, this one... Fortunately for the record studio and the companies, never got to a physical altercation. Both artists has basically dissed themselves. But Chance has worked with both of them on separate occasions. So when he was uh, sitting in that booth chair, what was that, Thursday? He was talking about Cardi B and... Uh, and Nikki, and what he say? A lot of that stuff is produced. A lot of everything is curated before we get to see it. Like all the information, the way that they phrase it to us, the way they put people against each other is made for you to like, accept, accept it in a certain way. So a lot of people had to choose a side. Choose a side, choose a side. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Okay. He said, I don't want to speak for them at all, but I feel like to a certain extent, they got pushed into that. And I don't think all that, all that was a 100% their feeling. Okay. He don't think it was 100% their feeling.
Chaz, Praise, Nikki, and Cardi, who are currently, you know, doing their own thing. He credited both of them. And said they are some of the greatest recording artists in the world, the way that their music touches people's lives and all that stuff. It's incredible. But he also spoke about his new best friend, yet. Can't forget about Crazy K. Crazy Yay. He was like, Yay is like one of my favorite spiritual advisors. Spiritual advisor. Oh my God. All he does is read the Bible and make samples. And turn souls into gospel songs now. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't get no crazier than that. But here's the thing. Cardi never was coming at Nikki. At all. She didn't even mention Nikki on her album. She wanted nothing to do with Nicki Minaj. They brought Nicki name up in her interviews. Cardi would shut that down. Cardi wanted nothing to do with Nicki Minaj. She was not going to come up off Nicki. She was going to come up off the strength of her own songs. That's the difference between her and Nicki. Nicki would have definitely used that opportunity to promote her album and do something crazy instead of worrying about the music. And what the music was going to sound like. So. All you barbs. I don't even want to see. <laughs> like I said. 35 year old black man. Acting like 20 year old white girls. On my page. Complaining. Go oh, hey, you don't chance then if you don't like what he said. He said a lot of it is fake. It's curated. Scripted. Graph. Whatever you want to call it. So. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Cardi B never wanted a war with Nicki Minaj. She did not need it. Nicki wanted a war with Cardi B because she felt Cardi's got to bow down to her. That's just the way it was, the attitude. Nicki would never admit to that, but it was the truth. And she thought, I am the ultimate force in the universe and everyone has to bend to my will. And she's not bigger than me. And I'm going to show her when I hit the stage that everyone's here for me. Nikki. And she found out she wasn't running things. It's kind of hard, you know, when someone else, it's someone else's time and it's not yours anymore. It's kind of hard. kind of thinking like people are there for you and this has got a lot to do with you and then you find out it has nothing to do with you at all it's about something else and that's how far you go man what time is it <clears throat> four o'clock in the morning Woo! four in the morning man got me yawning I'm not going to take you to revisit the whole beef. You guys already know it. So definitely, uh, if you get a chance to, hit the like button on the video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, all those things. Um, you know, uh, you can hit me up on the Cash App. Name is Carcino. And also, the stream lab is below you. You can also donate there as well. So you can use your uh, account might already have just started some autographs a lot of different things on there so without that 
Without anything else being said, because everything I'm going to say is going to sound real crazy for being up for like almost 24 hours straight. I'm going to have to play this back just to hear what I actually said. There's nothing that makes sense. So, on that note, I am out. Have a blessed day before I pass out in the middle of this video. <laughs>